Hey guys, um, going to start off with week one, day one, uh, which on the plans was to read the introduction and write five facts that you have learned. So this was about the uh, fighting the Greco-Persian War. So I'm going to read this here. So if you have your packet with you, or if you don't, you can pause this video and find the introduction for week one, day one. And I'll wait a few. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully you have your social studies packet. Um, the first section again is writing, is fighting the Greco-Persian War. The essential question that you want to keep in mind for this unit was what factors influence the outcome of the Greco-Persian Wars? So introduction. Athens and Sparta were two very different city-states in ancient Greece. Their differences sometimes led to a distrust of each other. However, between 499 and 479 BCE, these city-states had a common enemy, the Persian Empire. At that time, Persia was the long, largest empire in the world had ever seen. Its powerful kings ruled over lands in Africa, Central Asia, the Middle East, and the Mediterranean region including Greek settlements in Asia Minor. During the 400s BCE, the Greek settlement of Ionia revolted against Persian rule. Though some city-states sent aid, the Ionians eventually were defeated. Following the defeats of the Ionian rebels, the Persians sent a force against the Greeks. Some of the Greek city-states joined together as allies against the Persians. Now you may ask yourself, what's allies? So this next sentence explains that. Allies are states that agree to help each other against a common enemy. We have uh, allies currently even today. Depending on what's going on in the world, There'll be times where we group up with another country to help support each other, to make the army bigger, better, and stronger, to show sometimes strength in numbers. We always say, you guys, strength in numbers. The more people uh, join the same force, the better sometimes. Even if it doesn't necessarily mean to physically fight and go to war, it's showing your enemy that we are a stronger army. And sometimes they'll back down with that. So that's the concept of having allies when you're joining allies. Compared with Persia, these tiny Greek city-states had much less land and far fewer people. How could they possibly turn back such a powerful invader? If you remember the map that was in your social studies books of Greece, very small, but it had a lot of like little islands. So that's what all these little city states, you know, it's a little group over here, a little group over there. Um, so they didn't have a lot of land and they didn't have a lot of people because they didn't have a lot of land. So that was, that was a big ongoing question. How could they go against this powerful invader? Although both Greek city states were known for brilliant military strategies, so were the Persians. Each group had to use its armies and navies wisely throughout the Greco-Persian War. So even back then, they had the army, they had the navy. They used that in their fighting. In this lesson, you will learn about important battles during the Greco-Persian Wars and discover who won them. You will also learn about the factors that influenced the outcome of the Greco-Persian War. So that wraps up our introduction. And again, the part of that week one, day one assignment is to write down five facts that you have learned about what you read and basically what I read to you. 
okay? When in your packet you do have a uh, loose leaf paper, you're supposed to be writing the five facts on that loose leaf paper. Um, a good tool sometimes too when you're going through and you're reading or when you're listening to me read, if you think of something or hear something that you want to write down, get a highlighter or get a pen or pencil and underline it. So then you can easily go back and find that. So that's a little tool I want you to use when we are uh, reading these to you each day. Get a highlighter, get a pencil, pen, something, marker to underline. So that when you go back, you have your five facts and you can just sit down with your paper and you can write out your five facts. Remember, write in complete sentences, please. Uh, that's a skill we've been working on in social studies and ELA. I want you to still use those skills to write in complete sentences. We should not have one word answers. Use your proper um, language skills in, in writing skills in writing your five facts. This will wrap it up for the introduction video. I hope you guys found it helpful. See you in the next.